brought to you by DraftKings. The thrill and excitement of March Mania is here in DraftKings Sportsbook. One of America's top-rated sportsbook apps is giving new customers a shot to turn 5 bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any college basketball bet. So women's, men's, whatever you want. Uh, North Carolina listeners, don't forget DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code PICKCENTRAL. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code PICKCENTRAL. The crown is yours, so make sure you go do that. They have so many different offers, but use that. Use code PICKCENTRAL, and you can use it on the Final Four, whatever you want, right? Anything. They got, they got pretty much everything. They got so many offers. There's no reason to bet anywhere else besides DraftKings. Um, it's Smitty. It's Big Ev. It's myself. It's Clemmer. Who knows where the fuck Bosco is? Um, oh. um, yeah, but. That's uh, mean. He's mean to Oh, uh, it's just. He's filming for Healthy Debate. Yeah, yeah. but. All right, there we go. Yeah. You right. say something. I, I say Thank something. you, Dukes. Don't, I'm, I love the guy. But. I tell him every time I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not calling him out. And don't defend him for a second. I got him. It's fine. Everything's okay. Who cares? Um, last night, the biggest story was the Giants and the Dodgers. Without question. <laughs> line in the sand game. Look, I <laughs> line in the sand game. I had nine picks yesterday. That was the only one I used uh, following the money for. I swear to God, I woke up this morning. I didn't watch the game. I fell asleep. I woke up this morning to more hate <laughs> on my Twitter timeline than I've seen in God knows how long. All because Kurt Clemmer decided to yell at me. No, oh, no, that was not Kurt Clemmer. It was Chris Clemmer. And People I, are saying that you are trying to become Kirk. That's, that's uh, on the internet, not myself. It's on the internet. Kirk says that. Uh, well, yeah, that's I, what I I'm tweeted saying. yesterday, on Kirk didn't, invite, didn't invent anger. I, I was angry long before I met Kirk. I'll be angry long after I meet – after. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done what with this job. What angered you what Smitty did yesterday? Because hey, Smitty kept re- keep, Smitty was talking like a child. Like he kept repeating I, the same thing. I was doing. Again. I was doing that. And and you you can't talk to an adult like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing that for a reason to get you riled up. Which we're gonna got clips because this yep. is a content factory and we gotta do this. <laughs> Obviously, if we're talking off air, I'm having a more of a conversation with you. Mm-hmm. But that was funny, and to each their own. But for people to come at me for uh, for citing a service that I pay for and bring to this. Uh, panel and the audience to say where the money goes and trends and to put that out there as a pick and citing that good fade me follow me great but it's a fucking gambling show and I'm actually following Las Vegas where the goddamn buildings are and people are coming at me for that what the fuck well, I think it might have been yeah. – people might have come to you just because, like, you – talking to – like, I was asking – Oh, wait, 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 real quick. Ev, on Friday, did I not use the same analysis for Gonzaga and uh, – The under. The under, yeah, yes. You did. Okay. It Thank did, you. It, and it did, did it hit? It, it did hit. Okay. It did hit. Thank you. And you've used it before in the show, but I guess the difference here was, like, I had a differing opinion. So I was like, what else do you like? And then you just kept repeating the same thing. And that you were like, yes, it was a bit, Clemmer. It was a bit. It was a bit, but, like, that's going to piss me off. And it's going to, obviously, it triggered people online. People were like, don't, you can't fucking say that shit. <laughs> people were telling me my wife and kids are going to leave. That's fucked up. I, don't, I mean, I, like, I, 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 what's that, going on here? That's never in bounds. You know how this I feel is about like, that. That's, gam- right. that's also, gambling Twitter is very much like when you're deep in the weeds, like, you, I'm, I give picks every day. They lose people when they lose. They laugh at you when of you. Of course, win. when you win, crickets. Hey, that's hey, that's how the game hey, is on Twitter. Put it out there. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I just find it interesting because out of everything that I think I know about here and content, and to get that much hate over that over anything else. It threw me for a little bit. It threw me. Yeah, I don't know if you deserve that avalanche of hate, but but from my perspective, real quick, like so, I I'm up until two a.m. like researching all these things, looking at these numbers. Like I really do care very much about the baseball picks and baseball, and like so when you come back at me and you're like you have this right, you have a service you've used it in football too, and it's and it's worked before, absolutely. But I'm like, what else do you have? And you're like, you just keep repeating it. 
for a bit, whatever. But like, that's gonna piss me off because I spent of I spent the last three hours doing my best to come up with something, and you're like, oh, I have this one stat. Of course, it's like, well, fuck you. And like, I use and I use that stat because I saw you tweeted out earlier in the day that the Dodgers were <laughs> minus one and a half. That was your pick of the day. Of course, I did it that way. Right, and that's fine. And like, but I'm gonna. Right, but people I'm fucking react and get angry. People and, fucking say I don't know baseball because I fucking followed the money for a plus one seventy Giants pick late night. Fuck you. I've written way too many fucking blogs about <laughs> Ben Revere of Dubo Herrera <laughs> to fucking not be told I know about baseball. So today uh, I got down to it with Clemmer because I I said to Clemmer, he gets very angry fast. It was a good pick, Clemmer. When you Thank talk you. about baseball. I said, he does. You, just because I like You're attacking a child with him. <laughs> Because I like just a child attacking me. You stay up till two doesn't mean well, no that. attacking like your child. No, yeah, like I don't your have one. Yes, yeah, my dog. Well, no, your 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 baby is the baseball. It's true. It's true. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. So we had a nice conversation this morning because he's like Nestor Cortez's dog shit, right? And I said, listen, I don't think that he's great, but I think he's an average pitcher. And he just but once I bring stats, so we came to a. We didn't bring any stats. I brought stats. No, you kept I kept saying the word average. No, I brought that he had a great year two years ago. Last year he was hurt, and you said you only Those are taking aren't stats, this. though, by the way. See, that's what I'm saying. You well, can't I'm, I'm just, talk about anything about baseball because he watches till 2 a.m. No, I'm just that's using, what, no, I'm using words that make sense. I'm not. I'm, the words make sense is that when he was hurt, he sucked. When he wasn't hurt, he was good. And you are only using the stats when he was hurt. I'm using. So that is what I'm saying, and that makes sense. Okay. You. Or anything I say, you just say is wrong. Well, when you say wrong things, I'll say they're wrong. Was yeah. any of that what I just said wrong? Uh, the only no. thing the only thing wrong is calling him an average pitcher now. That's the only thing I think is wrong. You know what's a shame? The Mets are 0 4. And Meeks just checked out. Oh, they're he, terrible. He would he would yeah. chime in already, but it's no. Just, so man, the, no, the court, he's, 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 season's over. The Cortez debate I think is a good one, and, and I did so. I so I some, well, I said one thing I was wrong. I shouldn't have said he's dog shit. He's not quite there yet. He, he might be dog shit. At the end of the year, if he still pitches like he has the last 13 starts, I'll say he's dog shit. That's fair. But right now, you, maybe that's too quick to call him dog shit. So I, I, okay. I said he was wrong. All right. There we go. I will say right now he's a below average pitcher, which is not dog shit. I think that's false, but that's your opinion. He's at, so least, he's at least average. Well, his yeah. last 13 starts, he's in the area of 515, and, you, and he doesn't have overpowering stuff. I'm using – here's the reasons why. I feel he's below average. Uh – He's been hurt. He, I don't know if he's recuperated from that injury. And you can throw this out all you want, but because uh, it's fair. But like his spring training was lousy. His first start was lousy. It was against Houston. A good first start actually team. didn't end up being. It started lousy. Oh. He actually he salvaged it. Well, if you go, if you give up four runs in five innings every, but that's every like, time out, then you're, you're that's you're, that. I would say that's kind of like an average ish start. The seven twenty ERA. It's not average. That's like an av- I mean. That's not average. Wait, he held, he held the innings. Astros under and one more total. When one more run or one more inning and one less run is considered like quality. Well, that's a lot. But let's take one run away from his inning. Now it's a 540, right? It's still not average. A four runs in five innings. If you think that's average, then you're not watching. It's one game. But yeah, also yeah, it's one game. Right. So then look at the 12. <laughs> but, but, he's saying, but he's saying look at 12. You're like, look at the 12 right, starts so the year before that's like, that then. That's like three months of so What I said, he picture. was hurt last year. He was hurt. He just was hurt. He was. He was hurt. And then the year before that, he was an all-star. He was. So it's like I don't think that calling someone an all-star two year, a year, I guess, a year removed. Because it's not two years. That's a year removed. A year and a half. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. A year removed is calling someone below average if they're an all-star after one year. I just. I but, you, but guys sometimes don't recover from injuries, though, Marty. And also a guy well, doesn't have overpowering stuff is going to have a shorter shelf life. We just life. don't know that yet, I'm saying, as well. We don't. We have time to, like, he has this this season is a big Absolutely. benchmark. For but him. he's shown me nothing to tell me that he's recovered from that injury or that he's or his stuff is decent. Nothing. He said, you can throw it out all you want. It's fair. Spring training is lousy. The first start was lousy. The 12 starts last year were lousy. All I see is lousy. And I said spring training, literally, I've talked That's to fair. pitchers in spring training. They're like, I truly don't care. I just want to get my reps in, which I, I don't. I, every pitcher is totally, besides. Every, spring. every, right. I, I always say with a grain of salt with the spring training. So, but I'm just trying to find any sort of silver lining, and I don't see one. So taking the bet is completely fine. I'm just talking when you say someone's dog shit, I, I think that it's I think we can say that he's fine I won't say he's fine I won't say he's average but I will say he's but I will not say he's dog shit for at least a month all right is that fair yeah I guess that's fair speaking of dog shit pitchers Keaton Wynn what a pitcher I thought he was great last night <laughs> did you I he, he, he was, splitter? I want to say the runs came up later in the game. Yeah, right? I mean, he gave up three runs in five innings, right? I yeah, saw, not bad. I, not bad. I, I, we have Seams head Dukes. I, 
Yeah. First off, I probably tuned in. For biggest Rockies fan in America. Oh, <laughs> biggest. What's the record? Oh, but I, I t- tuned in for like four outs, and I saw he got like I saw one pitch. I was like sold. Why did you watch the Rockies game? I was I, w- I went out for a little birthday dinner. We watched the Giants game. Came back a little little drunk, and I just t- turned on the Giants game. <laughs> oh, fine. Late night baseball. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Oh, it was me and Clemmer were the only people. Did you go to? Did you go to sleep before the game even started? Or did you watch any of it? Oh, it I was, was out of ten last night. Oh, because it was long day. Because it was a quick one run in the first, yeah. and then it was kind of like it took a little while, but then they got to him, and then the bullpen completely coughed it up. Well, when you're getting up at, at, at midnight and then two a.m. and then five a.m. Yeah. every day. Like, oh, I know. I, I didn't know if you. I, I was going to text you. I'm like, I didn't know if he's. Oh my god. You text. Hey, I, I I wanted to watch it, but yeah, I didn't know if you were because at one point it was like it was three to one. I was like, Ugh, we're gonna work. We're oh, gonna- oh, real quick. There was no doubt in my mind, and I texted you this, Yeah, and it probably would have been the funniest scenario no ever, that the Dodgers would win by one. Right, because then oh, we both yeah. lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was, thinking I was the- actually thinking about putting money on just the Dodgers winning by one at like plus 300 or whatever. I was thinking the same thing. That's exactly what's going to happen. We're both going to get fucked. So we're going to work on you just because you watched games till three doesn't mean that you always see this isn't fair because like here's the thing so if i went at you about duke or i went at you guys about college college football whatever you guys would be like you're a fucking moron shut the fuck up no 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 no. you would you have no because you say you don't watch college basketball i i watch the yankees every game so and i'm not cortez is different right the yankee you're different i will not say if you say so like you said something about the the giants last night I'm not going to chime in. I didn't watch. Yeah, yeah, I will be very transparent. What I watch, Yankees, I know. And I think that's fair. Was, you can be an expert on your team. Absolutely. Not an expert in the sport. For sure. I, tell, like, I know the, obviously what's happening in the sport, but not like every fucking yeah. player. There's, I told Marty. Marty's watched I'm more Cortez than no I have. I what the fuck's on it. <laughs> it's like how, can, like, how can I? So, yeah, Marty's watched more of the rest of Cortez than I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what if? Solid pitcher. No. no. <laughs> You were smiling. No, I'm waiting to dig into this, uh, the big game last night. Yeah, so let's get into uh, actually the biggest game, Iowa-LSU. Um, revenge for Iowa. Honestly, both players played. I mean, I, uh, Caitlin Clark played better, but Angel Reese also played very well. She kind of stunk it up. and She had a great first Her half. stats. She, stats she, she, she had 17-11. Did, did you watch? I watched uh, the second half. So you watch, so you watched her play bad. Yeah, and I just saw the stat. I, she, we, we had a game during the beginning. Yeah, we had a game. Like, legitimately, like took like the first half. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Like the way she was, she was going like cookies. Like she was in. They couldn't stop her in the post. I mean, she was steal like multiple steals led for laps the other way. Like she, I was like, oh my god, they're gonna do it again. She's the best player on the floor. <laughs> and then Caitlin Clark just did her best Steph Curry impression, and just I mean, she's unbelievable. Dude, full what forty two. Uh, for, yeah, something like that. 41. Forty-two points. She, and- she really, she just, she makes that motherfucker rain, man. Like she just, she pulls from wherever she wants, and it, she, I don't think anyone is a greener light in like planet Earth right now than she does. Oh, for sure. And, and no, but she makes them though, man. Like she was like nine for 20. twenty. So I mean, she's efficient, forty-five percent from three. Like she had a stretch, and like the, it was basically the third quarter. She came out and was like, "We're not losing this game." Yeah, dude. Uh, it's like there's nothing cooler when than when a when a person. Like last year, she got kind of clowned a little bit. Like, oh yeah, Angel Reese smoked Angel her. Man. She smoked, smoked her. her. There's nothing cooler coming out and then just like actually putting up and shutting up everybody. I what wish, I wish she had been petty. She's. Too, I wish she was petty. And I was someone who bet on LSU, and I'm an Angel Reese stan. But I, I, but Dave's, in the, uh, in the, in the. In the Heat of like I still love sports rivalry even when I'm losing my bet because to me it's just one bets so whatever. Yeah. I just I like injuries. I, I kind of always gravitate towards like the villain a little bit whenever everyone seems like they hate them. I kind of root for them. Just an, I don't know. It's just the way I'm wired. But I mean, still was like the other side of me. There's a sportsman. I was like, oh, when she because injury she fouled out. If she and the the game was like over pretty much at that point. She like if that. she had hit her with the wave, if she had hit her with the. Well, I guess she couldn't do the ring because it wasn't the title game, obviously. Yeah. But if she just hit her with the wave or something, that would have been incredible. Her one teammate did it. But uh, I, it was kind of from afar, but it was like the second she fouled out, she just was like, give her one of these. But um, Dave, Dave tweeted, it was like during the, it was during the uh, handshake line. He was like, Kaylin Clark's better than me. I would never be able to dap her up. Well they, well, they had the camera like ready to go. Like they had it zoomed in on her for that meeting. And I was like on the edge of my seat. I was like, what's she going to do? Is she going to like, are they going to not high five? Are they going to give one of those little passive like high five and pass? Well, let me tell you. They did, it's they're, class. They're, She's very smart for what she did. It seemed like there clearly had been a conversation they've had. Pro, like in between that title game and this game, it was very they clearly had spoken. It's it seemed to me at least she'd become more of a villain 
if she did that yesterday after if she like went up to her or just didn't dap her she if she looked at more of a villain than saying like i think today that'd be the story instead of being like holy shit she scored 42 was unbelievable yeah, yeah and it probably would have played into because last year obviously it got it got so heated things got like we thought like kind of very racial so racial I like too that right? probably would have played into oh, that yeah. element of it Not more close. even though i don't think that was anyone's intentions on either was side it? what a, it's yeah. just what like it just is what it is in society so what? i guess that would have probably played into what it did, what did magic and bird do after that is what nineteen seventy nine title championship. Do they? Do they great question. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure. But they never. They, you know, they always got along off the court. So like they always had a lot of respect later. For each other. Later. But they always had like, re- a respect for each other. They they, they yeah. did. But I don't know if there was a a moment like that. But I'm saying. But oh, they, I don't know. Yeah, that, they, yeah. It's a different time. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah. So they, this also was so neat because obviously they got to run it back. Right. Yeah. Like imagine if they had played each other in the title game and then played each other again in like a huge. Well, they did. Lead well, they eight, as pros, they did. They did. But no, but I'm saying like, it, but truly like those yeah. two teams. I think college is more like. Um, I don't know. There's more of I don't know. Just like the I don't know. Just sense of like that school spirit, that kind of like element. Like it, I feel like it becomes too like. The college fan bases to me are just more like passions. There's more like. I mean, it's tough. I mean, Celtics Lakers in the '80s was something else. I guess so. I, mean, I guess yeah, that was so. Pretty good. I guess so. But like, it was a different time. Like, and, and like, you know, I always think back to like when Bird retired. Magic was there at the retirement ceremony and like took off his jersey and had the Celtics T-shirt underneath. Oh yeah. But I mean, I know that's way after the fact. And they were, at that time, they're both old, but. Well, wasn't there a story where uh, Magic and Bird were doing a commercial shoot in like '88 and never really liked were buddy buddy before then? And then Bird said, "My mom's gonna cook you lunch or whatever." Yeah. And Bird's mom said, "The Magic, you're my favorite player." And then they were like friends after that. Yeah, I think there's always like a mutual, but maybe cold respect until yeah. that moment, and then it became okay. much more friendly. And then obviously they well, both that was later in both careers. Like yes, way and, later. And then they were both in the dream team. Obviously, after Bird retired, yeah. you know, it was that summer right before he retired, rather. But like, yeah. Wasn't there something where it's cool when they both careers intersect like that? Like, I wonder if like Caitlin Clark and and Reese will have like the same kind of career. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, what's their career path gonna be? Probably it's, will. I mean, they both will be like top picks in the WNBA. That's like that's sure. fun. You can watch yeah, them for the yeah, next they decade both, and like have well, no, they rivalry. and they both were the same high school class, and it honestly kind of nuts. Like, they both the, have the, one they, more year, right? If they wanted, I think it's on their both. Clark already said, yeah, 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 she's going. I think Angel Reese, she definitely like can, and uh, I know. In their class, it literally was like Paige, like they were Paige Bukers, and then the two of them were three of the top five. You think they should stay one more year? I know she's going, she's going to make her money, whatever, but like just for like women's college sports, and it's not up to her to do that. It's her own fucking life. She should do whatever she wants. But do you think that she should stay just to like, if she doesn't get a ring? Would she make more money staying? I think her endorsements, her endorsements are so, are so huge big now that probably it probably doesn't even she's matter. She's legit on yeah. commercials already. That's what I'm like, saying. Like I think she made makes farm commercials, right? Like a legit commercial. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> legit. And she and she's at the level now. She's getting like we're talking Coca Cola, Pepsi, yeah. she's she's get everybody. We're talking more. Nike. Like yep. you think she's gonna get a huge Nike deal? Her, I bet. I mean, WNBA is gonna be like a hobby job to her. Absolutely. Like it's because like she. I mean, be she'll probably, she'll probably get paid more for Instagram posts than she would for a whole season. Yes. Of NBA, WNBA. Yep. So I don't even know why she'd play in it to be honest, other than just her, <laughs> almost her. I said being like the Tiger Woods of golf, like well, doing, trying to like lift the. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, wouldn't it be it, wouldn't it be yeah. better, more beneficial to ride this gravy train one more year? It could. It honestly it could, be. could be. It could be. I know. But she, I guess if she gets a ring, it's like. Eh, she's also why? played. Jesse, like, you can you can add to the total points. True. I, that's that's why I want her to. Come she back. could basically yeah. She could yeah. basically make sure the record just smash. never gets broken yeah. again. You should smash it. Um, th- this is the so. Would you guys agree that Magic and Larry Bird's rivalry like helped shape what the NBA became? Absolutely. Right. Oh, yeah. Changed yeah. Every, yeah. NBA final games used to be on tape delay. <laughs> right. Before that, like it changed everything. Would you say that back then there was a little bit of like uh like racial undertones to like who, who was a Magic fan who was a Larry Co- fan. Uh, Cel- course, Celtics right? Lakers Clippers. Celtics were the white team what typically what about Caitlin Clark yeah. and Angel Reese you think there's some s- same like similarities in a way very much so I think that if the WNBA is gonna make it it's because of that rivalry Hopefully, I think it'll. I think you could really change. I, I, there's just a lot of a lot of similarities in my. And opinion. not only that, you have all the ratings going in. Like people are so invested in this dynamic and this rivalry. I think you're right, dudes. I think that can be something that can really level like, the he, WNBA up. If Angel Reese and though, Caitlin Clark tune in, like, are in the WNBA finals, well, like, that's what I was going to say. I think they have to both get to right. like good teams. Yeah. I right. also, unfortunately, I think some one more incident needs to happen. Like one more, not incident. Like one more, like like kind of going back and forth yeah but did you guys see this tweet that went like insanely viral no. i retweeted last night literally one of the fu- like one of the best funniest tweets i think ever he said this guy just tweets 
Angel Reese cussed everybody out. Caitlin don't give a fuck about passing. Floje a rapper. The players got real beef and the coach massaging us. This is this is the game I fell in love with. It took the women to get us back to the roots. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I was just so funny. I did, but it's so funny, but so act like the it's it's not even the basketball was phenomenal, but it's the storylines. It's, it's all the, the it's line. the hu, it's the human human interest element of it that makes it so that made all of it so enticing. Like it made it so like the fact that. Even they show like the two the two teams at once. See their their jump going crazy to set it off by Boozy and yeah. it's, and I was there singing High School Musical like just so many like there's like there's just that part of it that and then them getting on the court and it's like two gladiators fucking facing off in front of the Coliseum like just heavyweight back and forth great shots I mean insane just like passion on both sides intensity from the coaches everything around it like Mulkey's obviously very like controversial just so much goes into it that make that's what makes like sports. So fascinating. And that's what I was thinking about yesterday now that we – so these two made this game so big. Like, both teams were good, but, like, you really didn't care too much about the game. You did care about the game. It's the personalities. The personalities, yes. like, what they were doing, if there's someone's going to do something, the like, how the crowd's going to react. Who is that in the rest of sports right now? Like, what two players even – What rivalry do we have like that with two players? Where it's like, I need to – there's none. Like, baseball, there isn't any. No. Ba- basketball, there used to be like some, but there's really not. Hockey, I uh, know, and football is like there's basketball. Just- you had LeBron Durant for a while, not anymore though. You're right. You had, you had like LeBron Curry. You had yeah. for a little bit. You had like were they ever like? But they, I mean, yeah, obviously, they were. No, but they never, never, never like this. never like, like this. They, but like they never disliked each other. It was just they played in the finals like four years straight. Like in was. any other sport right now, I don't think there's any. I mean, this is a this is a reach, like- and I don't think this is even true, Marty. To your point. Like maybe Mahomes and Josh Allen, like you know, you're gonna get a good game with those. But it's nothing like probably this. Probably the closest if I had to say. Like I don't really know. But that's not even comparable. There's no real if, beef, if we like... if we got a few more uh, Burrow uh, Mahomes, I think that because there's there's a sl- a slow build of like the Burrow head and like they were all talking shit once they finally yeah. beat Burrow in that championship that AFC championship game. But even that's a reach. I'm saying that would be like if. Some things further, like they play a few more big games like that. What rivalries do we have? Like, I feel like sports, and maybe it's free agency, maybe it's just 2024 and people are nicer now, but like, what real rivalry do we even have? It's, it's the, just it's, the fans. It's because the players yeah. are too friendly with yeah. each other. You're right. They used to have like more. That's why I think more it's become more. You see, you see them in college now. But every, that's where I think you see, and it's true. But Smitty said it's off like. Ohio State, Michigan this past year, like it was obviously they've always been rivals, but there's like this cheating scandal and like yeah. the stealing signs and all this like Ryan Day and Harbaugh exchange words. They didn't like each other. That was a huge thing. And you, even like obviously Bama, like the I think you see way more of it in college. Probably. I think you're absolutely. I'm not a college fan at all, but I think you're right, Ev. I think well, the best rivalry. The, are the in players, college. they just like they just the players are like like. Mike, people were going. Micah Parsons. He, it's weird because he grew up in Philly, so he's an he grew up an Eagles fan. Obviously, he's a star player for the Cowboys. He's a Sixers fan. He goes to six games there. His like the fat Cowboys fan base, like oh, like what the fuck, like you're like blah blah blah. So, but I and I just think it's stuff like that and the players like they just don't want to beef. Like they're swapping jerseys after the game. Yeah. I did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ma- Marty did that yesterday. I did swap last night. Like, people, yeah, people don't like that shit. Yeah. I, I wasn't Not being so it. nice. Mackay, Mackay Parsons. I think, I think I he was him. a hair. Marty's too nice of a guy. <laughs> but, uh, like, Jeremiah Trotter said that if his son is drafted by a uh, by the Cowboys, he won't wear a Cowboys jersey. I love that. Like, I love it. Dude, I they, love dude, it. Root for your son. I love it. Saquon. That, 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 when does that happen now? No, never. I said yesterday, I listened to the Saquon podcast with the Kelsey brothers, and they asked him about his dad. His dad is the most like diehard Jets fan ever. He he literally said it. He they asked Saquon point blank if the Eagles and Jets play in the Super Bowl, who would he root for? And he dead serious was like the Jets. Yeah, he has a Jets <laughs> tattoo said on his forearm. I like, I like this guy. guy. I like. He said that. literally he was like like would literally root for the Jets over his own son, and you could tell it almost was it was like teetering on like where Saquon was kind of like he didn't love almost like you can tell there's a part of him that he didn't love saying it. He was like. Yeah. Kind of weird to say to be honest, but I, he would root for the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> and you could tell it was like teeter. It was very like much j- tongue in cheek, but also he was there was a you could tell there was like a this deep down kid in him like element of like my dad like still like yep. I'm not, not it's not the Jets like it's not good enough for yeah, him. Yeah, the in sports right like the, what we have football is hard to have rivalries like it was team rivalries, but like when it's players, it, we used to have like what o- OBJ and like Josh Norman like something like that. 
Yeah, yeah but, but football but is division. more more team on team rivalry. Jets Patriots. So everybody would, hated everybody. I would say more like more like, like I'm saying like, like uh, Buddy uh, Ryan, players. Jimmy Johnson, yeah. like Steelers, yeah. Ravens, really in their life. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that's teams, right? I'm saying we have like with with uh, Kalen Clark and Angel yeah. Reese, right? Like where it's player versus player because. Basketball is the easiest one because you can kind of go one on one at one point, you know. Like, or on offense and defense. Yes, yeah, so like yeah. you're playing both. Like when so, it's so. What was the last like real basketball rivalry? What was it actually? Shaq and Kobe on the same team? Uh, Pierce and Kobe was a good one for a little while. Had, what you know, like the NBA Finals. Yeah. I mean, they played a couple times. I, cause, yeah, I would have even said like. LeBron and Kobe was such a big but they never really played against oh. each other in a big game. LeBron yeah, and Pierce yeah, yeah. was a better it, it was more just the debate of like who is the best player for that period of time. Like is it Kobe, is it LeBron? Right. just doesn't give a shit anymore. They don't they care. They're, they're all like, friends. They're all friends. friends. They're yeah. in the play like care in the playoffs. You know what it is too? They're all so rich. It's like why like they're like why be like why it's not almost like friendly. They also they, play on the Olympics together. Like they, yeah, they these, all-star teams. Yeah. Also, these kids, you gotta remember about some not everyone, but a lot of these elite kids at the, like at this point in time, where these all-star kids, they grew up in these circuits together. They grew up in these yeah. Peach yeah. Jam camps and these Nike elite camps and Adidas, whatever. They were like young kids. These kids, all the elite players from you see, like they post pictures of them of like the US the say like a 20 like 15 USA team. You the half the team you know all the players because they all are in the stars in the NBA now. It's well, the problem the one, is, it's like Scotty Barnes, D'Lo, all, like they're all fucking together in one picture. You don't get they all have known each other their whole lives. You don't get many of the routes of like what Pat Bev had to do to get to the NBA. You know what I mean? Like he got kicked out of Arkansas. Right. He I went overseas he went first overseas. for years. Yeah. And there's a reason why he plays like how he plays, like kind of an asshole yeah. on the court because he doesn't one take it for granted. And also, that's what he has to do to be in the NBA. But like. You don't get many of those guys anymore where he doesn't give a fuck if, like, Pat Bev is the nicest guy off the court. We all know that. Like, even had to us. I don't like, know who we need. We need someone to try Jokic because he doesn't yeah. give a shit. He doesn't give a fuck about basketball, though. He's just yeah. good at it. But um, we need someone to, like, get it. We need someone to, like, try him for real. We need a rival. Like, even yeah. think, think about every sport. Baseball, right? The biggest rivalry was Yankees-Red Sox. The Red Sox just haven't been great. And it hasn't been. You know, I want to talk about dog shit. Red Sox are dog shit. Dog right? shit. And there's but just, in, like, individually, no one, Clemens Piazza. Yeah, but, like. That was a great one. But no one cares. Like, there's just no, like, two people on those teams. Like, it could be Judge and somebody, but it's just nobody, you know? No, like, like, Devers isn't, like, up to his level. Like, I'm trying to get I mean, the best honest, the right I, I mean, really, it would have been the Astros, but they've just beaten the shit out of us, so it's not really, like. That's, yeah. that's probably it's the so best one, rivalry. It's probably the best it's one so, right like, It's been so one-sided. But, but, it's, the Astros, Astros, but it's Astros, Astros versus the cheated. world. Yeah, Astros cheated, too. And so, like, I feel like the Astros-Yankees is real beef there. So, that's, that's but, like, that's, a, like, and in NBA, there's not two teams where I'm like, holy shit, they're playing. Together. I'm I'm hoping if this Celtics court and stay, could stay together and make some finals runs, I think there's a chance we could see. Obviously, we'd see a lot, and there's some a lot of up and coming teams. I'd love to see like a nugget a nugget Celtics thing form. Selfishly for the Knicks, I actually wouldn't want that because I mean the Knicks right. didn't get there. But I'm saying just pure like sports. I think they're a team, a young team that has a lot of potential. to be where they're at for a little bit. And then Nuggets, I think, are at a very similar spot where they already, they already did it. Jokic is, like, not super old. Murray's not super old. I think Eric we're Gordon. on a road, it's though. tough when the best player, like Marty said, doesn't really seem yeah, to get flustered or care that much. But, but if I'm saying I was, this is so, like, Steve, He's Stephen forward. Jay out there. He, he's just like, yeah. <laughs> do whatever you want. I'm just going to drop 30. But you need, like, that moment, horses. that heated moment, in, like, one moment in a game, like, one where, like, mm -hmm. I don't know who would do it on the Celtics, like, where one guy – Shoves Yoki or like fouls him hard or like something. You know what I mean? It would have been Marcus Smart. Yeah, what, that's I that's. that's I was thinking that in yeah, my it head. It could I was be saying. the Bucks where it's Pat Bev is doing it like that's with true. the. Well, I mean, even even Giannis, maybe, is, maybe Bucks even Giannis Celtics, is taking you know, balls maybe, after the, after yeah, the game now. Great. I mean, that's not very. Uh, I love that. Yeah, I mean, yeah like, maybe I don't know. I'm just Bucks like Celtics, something like it's just that. It's Sixers Celtics will be awesome, but yeah, the Celtics eat the fucking Sixers lunch every time. Celtics heat like we need. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the heat of the star power. I. But they Jim, kind of Jim, do but they, in Jimmy the playoffs, Jimmy, but Jimmy cool. Butler's no, the guy. I'm terrified. Wait a second, are you mean to tell me at the Celtics and Heat meet in the uh, conference finals this year? That's not a rivalry. That's a rivalry. Here's my thing, though, is I don't think it has the star power to make it like a national rivalry. Like, I don't get me wrong, that. it's a rivalry for me as Probably a Celtics fan. Right. But like, like I think you need two titans, like Magic Bird. You need that kind. Of, you kind of need both. No, that's why the Yankees won so great. When you had A Rod versus you know. Or tease. Like, you don't okay. think Butler provides that? No, I don't he, think he's, he. He it sucks because he, he provides I think he does. the dog. He provides, yeah. the, he provides dog. the dog. Yeah. He, yeah. I wish he had like. I don't he, wish for my sake, but I wish he had another guy with him. Yeah. Yeah. That's he's he's a top like twenty player. He's not yeah. a top like five player. If Lillard was on the Heat. I think it could. It could. Yeah. Get, that. Yeah. yeah. You're you're right. It's you're so right. tough too because like I, I hate to say this, but like 
the Heat being kind of like not the top of the, the East in the past couple of years, I think hurt them. Like, if you see them yeah. in the conference finals and they're like the seventh seed again, yes. I'd be like scared shit. They're Me just, too. They're just a team you don't want to see in the playoffs. Right. No. I don't know. Right. But I think the NBA is on the road to creating like eight teams where it's going to be like really fucking cutthroat in the playoffs the for West? Like a couple of years. Like the West right now, seven through ten, like the playing games it's are nuts. fucking outrageous. And yeah. then like OKC's, old timers also. OKC is just in first place. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It's totally Minnesota? young. And they're core, so yeah. young. That's what I'm saying. OKC so picks? young. Timberwolves are, uh, I don't know if they're young. They're young ish. They're young ish because you I got. I mean, Cat's young. Not, they're young enough. Cat's like getting up, not old. He's like probably in his late 20s. Yeah. But Anthony Edwards. Uh, just, Anthony, Anthony Edwards, Edwards is young. young. He's like, yeah. Um, but yeah, like the Kings are like in seventh. They're still kind of like, there's just so many young teams that with also putting like with the Bucks on the East and the Celtics on the East. And well, the West is interesting because they're young teams and they're changing the guard teams. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's not that, really any in in, in between. Denver, oh, I guess Denver, Denver is really the one. the one, right? And maybe the Clippers, you could say ish. I mean, they're having a good year this year. Uh, yeah, they're, they're I don't old, know. Though. They're gonna they're be old. interesting, yeah. Because if they Kawhi Harden, they're on the they older side. If they don't, sure. if they don't win this year, like you may be right. Yeah, that's fair. Dead. Yeah, uh, that's a team though that people can you can get into fights with them. Russell Westbrook can say anything to him, he's just gonna get upset. <laughs> so. You know what I want to see so bad is I want to see Cade Cunningham go to the Spurs. I don't know how that happens, but Cade on the Spurs with Wemby, I've been dreaming about. You know the problem they got to figure that out because the problem with him is he's not gonna be able to leave forever because they're gonna gonna be able to offer him so much more money than these yeah. other teams. And he's going to be in a spot where he almost just has to stay yeah. for like eight years at least. Is this- if he wants to get all the money that he can get. Uh, chat said this. Can I just bring this hypothetical up to you guys? Sure. The chat said when you guys were talking about rivalries, Kobayashi versus Joey Chestnut. And it really got me thinking. Yeah. That's a real but, but, it was a, but it was a wash fest, though. But, but they, haven't, they, haven't, they haven't had an he, he just He just murdered Kobayashi. Kobayashi was the king one day, and the next day he they was also the do no, no. hate each other. Which yes, is good. yes, yeah. like oh, I believe that. If, yeah. And they yeah. haven't they haven't had a competition in like almost a decade. I'd watch so, that, but, but would that be legitimately the most watched thing in a sports calendar year? No, I don't know about the most watched thing. Like Super Bowl, over, I mean, I think it'd be, I think it'd be watched price considering price. No, over, Super Bowls. Be close. No, 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 like Stop. Like, not Super like we're going Bowl, like not UFC. Super Bowl. UFC, Take the, football the out. best, the best UFC main event. Football, the best out. boxing event of the year. Do you think that the more people would watch Joey Chestnut versus Kobayashi over like the on UFC? July fourth? Uh, it's no, yes. it's uh, unfair. I don't think so. Not like the World no, Series. I would say NBA no, finals, and also an unfair comparison because. Put put an eighty dollar pay per view on Kobayashi and see how many people watch that. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. I disagree. No. <laughs> eighty dollars. No. Dude, chance. Dude, no you're chance. telling me like no you're chance. giving me like Wilder versus Tyson Fury part four or Kobayashi versus Joey Chestnut for well, the first time. Wilder versus for the Fury first like, time like not, even not even close for eighty bucks. Check up. Check on the carnival game. Not the even, numbers not on uh, on that last fight they had. And also Wilder. UFC, you get an entire also, you get an entire card. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say you, you're, you're getting like five fights, yeah, yeah, five like great. I mean, granted, if Peter comes out I and sprays Break Cat every year, yeah, maybe that's worth it. But U- UFC's it. also built this brand for 25 years. And this is like, nothing against uh, Joey Cash, Chess, no, no, or either, or hot dog eating. UFC has like diehard fans. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> when, when did the that's not gonna put asses in the seats? When did the hot dog contest start? Oh, a long time ago. But like, because UFC was really invented in like the mid 90s. But like UFC though has regular. You know, match well, yeah, yeah. and like has built this fan base of like th- throngs of fans every, that are well, every, die for this. Every sport. year, though, July Fourth. I listen. I'm, I agree. It's with a you fun guys, tradition. It's a fun little. Uh, well, one is something that people well, will are you go at, will, you, will you pay eighty dollars on July Fourth to watch Joey Chestnut? No, eighty. Or, or, or you ch- where will you catch the social media highlights afterwards and be like, yeah, that's cool. So did almost a million. At a cost of eighty dollars, did almost I, a million. I, I legitimately think you guys are not taking into account. Like how big that would be. <laughs> it's the, it's it's, the it's, price this point. This is this is worldwide. You got the, kid, Kobayashi. the kids would. Oh, scream. that's a good point. Worldwide. So, so is, is bo- boxing. It, boxing is. Is Kobayashi? Boxing yeah, MMA is super worldwide. So I don't know exactly. Yeah. Dude, they, I, I, the the drama and the beef behind Kobayashi was fucking massive. I mean, there's a documentary on it. Yeah, it was it was a big deal. But I mean, also, also, I don't I don't think I don't think Kobayashi's got it anymore. I think it'd yeah, be I mean, a total. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I guess I guess like Kobayashi wouldn't even do it because he would just get. It would be just. Resurfacing all the demons he's probably been trying to get rid of for the last twenty years, they all just come back up and you get demolished again by your arch nemesis. Takuro on live pay per view. <laughs> Takuro tsunami Kubiashi. 
Or tsunami. That's great. Hey, could you, could you imagine man. people are like just nuts washed up? Like it's like he gets like the Jake Paul treatment. Like he's taking on washed up old UFC fighters. Like that's what it is for <laughs> taking on Kobayashi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, fighting Mike wa- Tyson when he's yeah, sixty. He's wa- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to. I'm, I'm, I want that to happen. I don't know why they they must really hate each other because if they're like this is they have to have like they would have done it already if they didn't no, hate each other. No, it's like the major league eating thing. I think maybe I, I maybe I'm just in love with this. Shit. I need. I, need <laughs> oh, I am too. I do. I'm with you. It's I'm funny. It's a good rivalry. Like I, I like wrote in the chat. I was like, I'm hung over. People are like, are you fucking drunk? You're being so dumb about this. Like, I'm, I'm picturing. And obviously <laughs> you're wrong, but like I do like the argument. It's a good I mean, rivalry for sure. I we don't have many of those. Love you, what you love, Dukes. Yeah, like if you got, I don't know. Maybe I'm yeah. You know, I like it. Everybody, I like it. that's the point. Everybody likes it, but are you going to spend eighty dollars to watch it? <laughs> it's like Fourth of July party. Guess, go outside yeah. and grill I'll your own hot dogs. East. Like, yeah, I'd stream east that shit. Like, you're asking if I'd pay eighty bucks. I'm like, yeah, eighty. twenty bucks. I'd pay twenty bucks. I, I don't. I don't I'd pay twenty bucks. But that's what I'm saying. Think about that pay per view you brought up. That's almost a million people that paid eighty dollars for it. Imagine yeah. the millions who streamed it illegally. Yeah. So yeah. many, and you—you you made me just picture Kobayashi winning like a regional like winging contest and then getting on the mic like Nate Diaz and being like, <laughs> "Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, motherfucker!" Like, <laughs> like, like you just challenge him to challenge him to a face off when he's just won like a wing eating contest in like Wisconsin. So, if the fact that we're talking about Kobayashi and and Joey Chestnut, we need more rivalries in sports. Yes, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's even we like, have right. none, and none. it's like, but. I forget who said it. I think I did. Dev said it. It's totally the money. Why would you care about rivalries? If because there you, was you, some people that didn't care too much. Like they care had the money. So few far like, in I between mean, now. Like let Kobe did not like he was he was an asshole on. He's the a different breed. Like, though. Kobe, 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 Kobe is a, a one, a one of one. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm saying. One guy. But Michael Jordan, same, same. Uh, LeBron. Exactly. I mean, Baratek and A Rod. They were both making a shit ton of money. Like Yankees, Red Sox. No, but we're talking. Like A A Rod was A Rod was all. Rod's made the most money of everyone. But but these guys now like the like second best player, third best player in some of these teams, are on like two hundred million dollar contracts. We're talking twenty years ago with that. We're also talking right a long time ago. Jalen Brown is not the best player on his team. He makes over sixty million dollars a year just on the court. Yeah. Fuck them. Sixty million. Fuck them. Look, A Rod was making like thirty. We're talking about twenty five thirty. Can you do me a favor, Dukes? Yeah. Look up Bismack Biombo's contracts. Oh, Bismack, dude, oh, he Andre, signed 100 million at one point. He has averages <laughs> about Andre oh, Andre Iguodala's a half a billionaire. It's crazy. When I saw Bismack, and there's no, there's actually there is disrespect to Bismack. Yeah, oh no, it was like four no, he, he had that he had that game. one he had that one good playoff series. I think one. I forget who it was. Someone the start maybe it was Valanciunas. One of the starters got hurt. Maybe, it's not that was good. it when he was on the rap? Well, how much is it? It's 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 one point one million. No, not right not now. Not his career earnings. He signed. <laughs> no, he did sign like a five year like or something like, like his bro, career. I, remember, I got it here. Ninety million dollars. I remember ninety million, million dollars. Bismack Biombo. Like no, that's he had a great play. I think it was with insane. the. I want to say the Raptors. It was. Yeah. Co- 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 Coley and Trill said on mixtape like in 2017. Gary Harris Jr. was making more money than any NFL player. That shouldn't be legal. That's crazy. No, it shouldn't be. Well, there's, there's, there's just le- less, there's players, le- less players. players. Yeah. Way now less. the money is so insane. <laughs> so funny. It's so funny. Ninety-one million dollars. By the way, Biz- Bismack averaged uh, five point one points for his career and five point nine rebounds, and he's made ninety million dollars. Saying like, there's probably yeah, right. Good for him is right. There's probably some offensive linemen out there that like don't make that much, and it's not like, even guaranteed. And they're dying in the <laughs> trenches, and this guy's like the oh, eighth guy off the bench. I mean, baseball too. I mean, Jeff Samarja. Smartest person ever to go and be uh, basically a reliever in the big leagues. Yeah. So he started. started, started and he was, it was decent. It was a decent pitcher. Yeah, over. He, he could have been a service. He could have been a really good yeah. wide receiver in the NFL. That, dude, he was guaranteed. a stud. At fully guaranteed stud. when he signed his contracts. Yeah, yeah I mean and NBA. Well, he signed like a hundred plus million dollars deal NBA? with the Giants. What? I think he signed, uh, he signed a big deal. I don't know if we made that. All guaranteed. Yeah, pr- mostly. I think there's some two ways they're not fully guaranteed, but any like so football, the only most, like true thing that's not guaranteed. I, I don't know uh, how I, I don't know how hockey works. Yeah, I don't know how hockey they make way less, but I don't know how hockey works either. Those Samarja, are the 122 million. And I knew he signed a big one at one point. Those are the guys who get upset. Probably. Samarja was also like lifetime 80 and 106. By the way, Samarja, if he like went all in a football, he probably would have been like a second round pick. Football players probably do have to get so mad because of how big of a difference the money is made in the NFL. Oh, it's the biggest sport like ever. the tiers of like what visibility, like people watching it and stuff, right. and then the NBA players are like. 
no one cares about it till the playoffs and they're getting paid so much more money is insane. 12 people on a team compared to 50. No, it is. It is. I mean, that, that uh, it makes sense. Something to do with it. But, but and also, I mean, the NFL games. is the greediest fucking scumbag yes. assholes possible. Absolutely. But also, exactly. there are more games, you know, in theory, more, you know, tennis and everything else and cable rights and things like that. But yeah. But you're right. The NFL owners, to, uh, NFL owners control it all. So such hypocrites. I mean, think we had the thing where Deshaun Watson got the five year, 250 fully guaranteed, and Jim Irsay said was like, we can't set this precedent. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and everyone was thinking it, but he was the only one bold enough to stand up and say it and be like, listen, yeah, we can't bold, set a precedent. Bold, bold where, enough. Where they, that, that, that's he, that's the word for it. Yeah. Well, respectfully, we'll, yeah. we'll go with that. We'll go with that. That, that he had the, he had the balls to stand up and be yeah. like. We this can't be a thing where these where you know every and also every and also he was saying, saying the same thing yeah, yeah, he was saying it publicly quarter, you gonna, think Jerry Jones was say that publicly or you, you, isn't saying it privately you imagine Jerry Jones was saying it privately a lot exactly. worse than that we got a quarterback coming off a year off and yeah. he's getting two hundred fifty fully guaranteed well, dollars fuck those fuck contracts that. should be guaranteed that's bullshit and the own, like you said the NFL makes more than enough money to do that but nope. well, that that's why I think what's his name uh, like Kirk Cousins has been like a genius he's kind of like lived his career by that. Yep. He signed like taking a little less money to make him like just like fully these fully guaranteed deals or like m- like high percentage of the money he's guaranteed. Right. Smart. Yeah, no, that's uh, it's crazy to you think about all the money in, in the NBA <laughs> and then that what you just said about Coley and Gary Harris, it's true. It's it was true. <laughs> well, I I, remember, I still remember that first year where the cap went up, what was it, twenty yeah. uh, like fi- fourteen or fifteen? Yeah. It was like sixteen, it was the 16, Durant year. Maybe. Right? Yeah. Because I rem- I just remember seeing like backup point guards were getting like yeah. four years like fifty million threes fifty million I was like holy shit yeah I remember it was Tyler Johnson I remember who was like a good player like, yeah for the net backup point guard went to or the something heat, yeah and it was like three year four years fifty million I think it was four years fifty million I was like holy shit he's literally a backup point guard so, you know, um, like oh, making over ten million dollars a year this is crazy are you here Thursday yes I'll be out Friday here Thursday though. okay so Thursday we'll more talk about Final Four stuff it's too still too early. For Final Four. Yeah, it's not until Saturday. Crazy, we got a long wait. NIT tonight. What's up? I have this, if you guys want to talk about this really quick. Top five. If you're going to be drafted in the top five, odds on DK. J.J. McCarthy's now minus 300. Dude, people are saying they'd be the, – the reports coming out about J.J. McCarthy are it would be something crazy happening if they didn't, if he didn't go top four. They're saying that's what it's saying now. I it was, well, it just seems like the, the Vikings are Dukes, just clearly going to trade up. I give Dukes a little credit. You got to give Dukes yeah. a little credit. Yeah. Back of it, when he was a J.J. McCarthy believer. Yep. I, I, I'll give you credit crazy. for saying that. I <clears throat> How Bosco follows Nate Oates, I might have to follow J.J. McCarthy. You might? Like, he could be on the Patriots, which even Jack Mack as a Jets fan, he's a J.J. McCarthy guy. Jack Mack's been like... That would be so bad. No, but he was, uh, he was a Michigan fellatio or two, <laughs> Jack Beck. I, we, yeah, me, we, I was too. He's my guy. We've exchanged words over that numerous um, times. I got to be honest, as a Giants fan, I have absolutely no idea who I want because we're, we don't like to pick I know who much. I want. I've been, all, I've been watching There's, so much shit. I've been eating up all the. Who do you want? I would say I want a receiver. I'm. Oh, oh, oh. I, I'm saying. I, no, but the, quarter, the quarterbacks, quarterbacks, I. Because they're had. They just so had. I'm, with I, the more the more and more and more I've looked into it, I'm out on Drake May. Oh, way not out. Con, no, no consistency. Oh. No, like, just very. Miss, misses the easy ones quite often. I don't even know if I'm in on Daniels anymore. I'm not in more on Daniels. I don't even know. I, I think. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Penix guy, big time. I really think people they just are, had I dinner with him. Are sleeping oh, on whoa, whoa! But look at look at Daniels' numbers compared to Burrow's in college. D- Daniels, I think, like he just, he just scares me that there was something like I was looking at a lot of the he missed a lot of his stuff like over the middle. He wasn't great there, and I feel like that's just a lot of the NFL game, and that worries me some. Um, and he's, his such, he, is he's, he's such a freak athlete, though. It's hard to like bet against yeah, that. Oh, I saw the picture. I think picture. it's photoshopped. I don't care. Well, yeah. Actually, I, is it really? <laughs> kind of <laughs> has to be almost. I don't know. People were really it? talking yeah. about that. It looks photoshopped to me. It looks photoshopped. I obviously didn't think it was real, but I thought I could have sworn he came out with a statement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care because that picture was so yeah, was like cool. Uh, um, but yeah, no, I'm kind of out on him. I don't know, but you would take Penix at six? No, no, not at six. Not at six. But I think we're just in a weird spot where I wouldn't take him at six. I would really hope that he falls and he's still there, like, mid to, like, end of the first round, and we're able to, like, use that second-round pick and kind of trade up maybe next and pick next year and get up. Because I really like him. I think he's really good. I mean, I think he's the best, like, pure thrower. I don't know what this is. <laughs> 
it's a it's been going viral. It's this picture of his arm. They're saying I think it's photo. I just, well, no it has to be. How is that not Photoshop? It's an arm. It's an arm within an arm. That's what I'm real. saying. I don't unless he's wearing like a like a, be a weird card or something. Instance of this random picture. I just haven't. I've been looked into. Time. I haven't looked into enough to even. I just assume it's. There's, fake, two, there's, but... there, there's three possibilities. Either one, it's Photoshop. Either two, it's a glitch in the Matrix. Or three, he is not human. <laughs> yeah, could yeah. be. It's yeah. All three a weird angle. Yeah. All three could be true. Where are you guys on Brock Bowers, the tight end? <laughs> sure. Monster. Uh, Jets are tied to him. Like, a, like borderline he can't agree. miss. Besides like injuries. What, I see. I, so the Jets, yeah. got, Jets have gotten offensive line help through free agency. So now it looks like they're pivoting to maybe getting this Brock Bowers guy. And I don't. Okay. Uh, Ten. This Brock. Bowers. The only thing I would say is. I don't know. I don't know. College I know, football. I is, he's, he's very he's <laughs> tight end. That's like a free, just like a freak. He like, got hurt. Right. Think though. like yeah, he was hurt. You have to get, but it doesn't matter to me. I think he's fine. As a Jets fan, should I be excited about him? Yes. I would, yeah, I would. Okay. So he's probably the biggest tight end prospect since like, Vernon Davis. Like, no, I, I think Pitts. Like, Pitts was so big. And Pitts, Pitts was Pitts a big, big Pitts. Yeah. Pitts was they were putting the gold jacket on him literally before yeah. he even got drafted. But well, who else is Kellen Winslow Jr.? Oh Jesus! Well, hopefully it doesn't end the same yeah. way with him. He's his skill sets. I mean, he's so athletic that they literally were giving him like end arounds and shit. Jesus. Like, with the ball in his hands, no, he's, he's electric. Right. He, he can block a little bit too. Like he's not a total. Like the just Jets like get him. I will. Then. The Jets are. The Jets have made some good moves. Yeah, I have. just think the Jets. They're in a spot where the they need the offensive line needs help. Well, we got we got this. Help. They did. I know they got Tyrone Smith and all, but this draft, this tackle class is so elite that I feel like there's like I really like the. I've been an Oregon State guy. Their tackle, the, this guy Fuanga, I think is yeah. Like, He's huge. He retired him for a while. Now it's seen move to Bowers. I don't know. He's, um, he's date um, of he's the um, draft. Twenty fourth or fifth. Yeah, but uh, he yeah he's unbelievable, and I think he's really good. Like even if the Giants took him at six, I wouldn't I wouldn't be like mad. I'd be like that guy's a stud. I'd All right, be, I like that. But um, Joe Alt's really good too. Yeah, Alt, Alt was is, another guy. Alt, 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 but I think Alt there's a good chance Alt he goes go five. To, to he, go, he goes five probably. I could see four or five. That wouldn't shock. I, me. I'm just there's someone's gonna trade back. And I can't wait to see that. So Minnesota's gonna they're just gonna trade up. Like you you don't get that next second round pick if you don't want to parlay those two into it. they want to jump so in front of really us. The Cardinals? Either the Cardinals or the Chargers. Right. So or that, maybe the Patriots, but I think the Patriots are gonna take a quarterback. I think they stay. No, I so I think that this there's rumors coming out that the that the Patriots are really high on JJ McCarthy at three. Mm-hmm. Now Who I Who are these like, rumors started by Dukes? Mike Cadlick. Okay. <laughs> Not started by uh, no, this is, one named Dukes. No, I've heard. No, I, I've read this. I've seen this. Yeah, yeah. he seen, has been linked to a lot. This of has been. This has been getting more and more heat. This, yeah. this is. This was my point. Is I don't know. Like it's draft season. I don't know if this is real or if this is like. Oh, you want to come get him, Vikings? Like you're gonna have to make a harder offer. Offer. Yeah, true too. And also, people want to link him to the Patriots because of Michigan and like the Tom Vi- Brady like and... the Vikings are still the favorites to get him. Yeah. So it just that report makes it seem to me like it's. They're trying to get the Vikings to like give up Justin Jefferson or something. He's JJ McCarthy. It's different because he won the national championship, even though he didn't technically. Like it, the defense was incredible. He was good though. I'm not shitting on JJ McCarthy at all. But like to be a top five pick from like he literally didn't throw for a half, and like people are kind of like it had nothing. It was really just a Michigan defense. Like he he's very poised back there. I'll give him that. It's I. I I was thinking about a few. I just think he's one of the most like unique evalu- evaluation in terms of like when he needed to do stuff. Like there was m- a few times where they like, needed to drive and he did it. And he came like he yes. bang and made down the field touchdown. That's where people don't don't. But he play. also had the best defense, the best offensive line, the best running, the best back. running backs, <laughs> the best run game. So he was in a spot where they they beat good teams like Penn State. They literally did not throw a pass in the second half. And then in the national t- in the national title game, yeah. I think he threw for 120 yards. Like there, it, it's but he but he also he did what he had but he also do. he has he has a big arm. It's not like the biggest, but it's like big, good enough, big enough. He is accurate, but he also has missed like some. He like it's not like he, he didn't throw a ton of picks, but he also didn't throw the ball, and he made some questionable throws that were picks. Like it's not like he's perfect. So I just think he's very like tough to evaluate because you just don't know how is he going to react when everything doesn't come so easy. How is he going to react when your offensive line isn't dominating the defensive line? How is he going to react when the other team scores a shit ton of points? How is he going to be able to manage that? So you, there's just a lot of question marks, but he's also really young. He's like 20, 21 years old, yeah. and he's athletic. Oh, yeah. It's, he's it's good ahead on his shoulders. He won, so, and he, he did what he needed to do. 
So I think there's like it's a very like pros and cons thing. It's, I, def- it's so different what I'm about to compare it to, but because he won a national championship. But like last year, Anthony Richardson was like everyone's like he's awful, and then all of a sudden his pro day was unbelievable, and then he got drafted fourth overall. And I know it's completely different. I'm just saying like he JJ McCarthy kind of is that guy where he went from like and second round to like the top. No, but Richardson was always at the top. Oh, always. I didn't know he was at so the top. So Richardson the year before was like unbelievable. And they still had kind of Emory Jones. This guy was like kind of starting. He was since he's quarterback. He's been a few different places. And he was sort of starting, but they put Richardson in and he would just go nuts. Yeah. And you saw the talent right away. And he's huge, has like this rocking arm, athletic. But they really, I think, was the biggest detriment what that Florida did was they fired Dan Mullen, who's a phenomenal quarterback coach, was Dak's guy, like has developed a lot of good guys, just known for like developing quarterbacks, being a great quarterback coach, was did a very good job at Florida. Literally the year before I had Kyle Trask, or a couple years before that, they, they usually had one year where they weren't, or one or two years where they were like not as good. They fired him, brought in, um, what's his name, why am I drawing a blank? The guy was at Louisiana, uh, Billy Napier. And they've been dog shit. I think he didn't know how to work with them. I think they called horrible plays. The offense lost a lot of talent. It was bad. I think they just didn't know how to use him. And then they saw in the NFL he was much better. But he didn't. But he did make a ton of bad mistakes. But it showed me that once he got to the NFL, I think they set him up for a lot of failure. It seemed like yeah. in college. So is it like the opposite where in J. McCarthy's did they set him up for so much success that it's kind of this is going to be like so different for him and so difficult? It's hard to say. Yeah. No, it's definitely going to be uh, interesting. Uh, let's just do a little baseball to end the show. Um, how are the Phillies doing? I actually have no idea. Uh, they're one and three. Uh, oh. Bullpen is played the Braves the first weekend. They played oh. Braves. They, they had a good, good uh, uh, series saving win. The, the final game last uh, night was a shit show. Uh, they're up to nothing. Christopher Sanchez is the best fifth starter in the league. He's good. Uh, he had eight strikeouts through five innings. Um, and then the bullpen came in, and uh, you don't credit, they scored two runs. Bullpen, uh, Blue Blue gave up a grand slam in the 10th, and they're, they're going to be fine. Bryce Harper doesn't have a hit yet. Like, they're going to be fine. I will, I got to stop real quick, Christopher. I mean, we had a fifth starter throwing no hitter last night. Ronald Blanco. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. Yes, but look at, look. I know. Look, I, know. Look, I Mr. like Sanchez. Stats, I like look Sanchez. Look at better. Sanchez's stats last year. I agree. No, I, 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 five guy. I like Sanchez a lot. I mean, I'm just saying, guy, we had a guy throwing. Oh, yeah, fair. That's all. That's I do need to ask a question. I saw a video. Bryce Harper flipping over the bulb, uh, the, the dugout. Mm-hmm. Did the ball hit something, or did he just completely miss it? He the was, ball ended up on the the dirt on the infield and not on the infield on the foul ground when he was in the in the dugout. I didn't see he this. Play. It? No, like I I I, I oh, just saw. I, 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 I didn't see this. It was I, crazy. Like he flipped over the the dugout and I was like, oh fuck! Did, it, did he almost get it? And then the ball landed. Did it hit a screen or something? That's what I'm asking. I don't Probably know. Hit the I, it, it was just yeah. crazy. I was like, I'm not sure. He's I just know he bad. went over and that he don't want a guy doing that. Yeah. And he is in the first injury. Bryce Harper doing in the fir- third game. No, but, Phillies. Uh, Phillies. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna be fine. They do this shit every year. They don't I mean, one. I mean, that was it's the first games. It's also the Braves. Like it's just it is what it is. But they. Um, you know, do my uh, my play tonight. I'm, I'm just gonna bet Bryce hitting a home run until he does. So he's plus four seventy five tonight. Like mm-hmm. they 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 got embarrassed last night. They're gonna come out tonight. Spencer Turnbull is on the mound. They're minus one forty two. I'm staying away from that solely because of that. And Ashcroft, who has been up and who was up and down last year, completely shoved it up the Phillies' dicks last year. At, at a certain point, he had a so. great. I was really down on him in the first half, and he had a great second half. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm kind of staying away from tonight's game. Tomorrow's game, win or lose tonight, especially if they lose tonight. Wheeler against Montas. That's the one you fucking hammer. I don't know. Montas looked really good that first start. Especially if I they love lose Wheeler. tonight. I love Wheeler, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You lay, you lay it down tomorrow. But Bryce home run tonight, and uh, my other pick. Uh, is uh, Bieber Castillo? The line is seven. First round, no inning. It's a little juiced. It's minus one fifty. I don't hate that. Inning. I don't hate that at all. Uh, Ev, I'm taking. I mean, the Yankees are just so hard right now. I know I'm going against my guy Gallon, but Yankees at Argus. I was going to say plus money, minus one hundred two. I'll take that. I'm on the for a little day action at four. I'm on the Brewers. Shout out Jacob Junis. Um, and tonight I'm gonna be on Indiana State in the NIT minus three and a half. Um, Sycamores. Speaking of number five starters, Luis. Uh, sorry, Heel. 
I'm gonna say I'm gonna yeah. make an announcement that I will not be pronouncing it heel. I'm gonna say <laughs> no, me neither. I'm gonna be saying Giel. Um, he's really good. Yeah, a really good start last he's night. He's a very good fifth starter. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. Um, it's crazy saying heel. That's insane. Yeah. It's just not right. Um, I'm going Yankees tonight as well. Uh, five best team in best team in baseball. That's a fact. Yep. At at this second. I wouldn't argue. I mean, they beat the Astros. Not the Astros at home. Yeah, I mean, there's a few undefeated teams, but th- their resume is stronger. And Diamondbacks on the road, like, yeah, great. We haven't had an easy game yet. You laughing at? I didn't know why Mike was on. <laughs> Ed Cooley's gonna retire. Ed Cooley might. Like, What's happening with that? He might. He might retire today. This is turning. No into, way. This is turning into like one of the funniest things I have ever seen. Why are they saying he's gonna retire? So. There's a bunch of shit on like message boards. It's like something this might is, have happened. This is Dukes. Like, I love how deep Dukes is. The Dukes will I love There has been shit. stuff on message boards that he there was an incident over the weekend. I don't know what the incident was. Incident. When you go to the Georgetown directory, you can type in Jeff Battle, the assistant coach, and it pops up, right? Just like any staff directory for Georgetown. Type in Ed Cooley. Can't. It's not there anymore. <laughs> how people just find this shit so fast so is funny. unbelievable. Now, there, this is what I just saw, <laughs> and I need to know if this is real, if this is real, because Trilly has, like, a uh, Discord. Oh, yeah, boy. he's been pretty right. Yeah, like, he's a good, if that <laughs> happens, I think that's legitimately the funny, like, one of the funniest things if you've ever heard but, but part ways, are you saying definitely retirement, like, or he's could he potentially just getting another job? Retire. Just, like, go to a different team again? He'll take, if he he'll, went to another team... <laughs> All right, that'd away. be so funny. He might have also already. If fucked he went up in the TV, Big East again, like, that'd be unbelievable. He might have fucked up his TV deal. Like he might have to coach if he wants to. Like I don't know if TV's going to welcome him anymore. You'd be surprised. You might be right, but also I think on on the other foot, shoe on the other foot. I think you'd like, be right surprised. away. Right away. I just think this is. There's a lot of guys in TV that. That's what I'm saying. Like I think I think there's some guy. I think he might get welcome. You never know. He might. Fox might say, "Hey, come on board." Yeah. By the way, I don't know if that Trilly message is real. I don't know if any of this is real. It's just funny. It's just no funny. What. Yeah. Um, I'm going Tigers. I don't think the Mets can win a game. I really <laughs> just don't. Casey Mize, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna kind of shut them down. Uh, It'll probably get rained out, but just an FYI. I mean, just the weather. Yeah, they'll, they'll play. Uh, I I'm going. I don't think they're going to. I'm going Twins. I'm going Royals. I, I know they lost yesterday, but just a juicy number for them. Oh, we. I, I have a question to ask about that game when you're done. Sorry. And then I have uh, uh, the Mariners. Go. Uh, so Craig Kimbrell, I saw last year with the Phillies. Um, this man has 417 career saves. He's played. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's played for the Braves. Dominated with the Red Sox. Played for a whole bunch of teams. So. Uh, how does he have 417 career saves when last year and, and last night, any time a player gets on first base, they're automatically on third? Like it's, it, oh, I've he, never seen he's anything be a Hall like, of Famer because back when he was good, he didn't like guys get. I know. I guess he just didn't like. Yeah, I guess get on base. Get on base. I've never seen this out of a fucking closer in my life. He's not even on the Phillies anymore. And it infuriates me. It infuriates me. Last year when he. Entered a safe situation where they were up by more than one run, and a player got on second. He would intentionally balk because he didn't like him on second, trying to steal signs. Like what? 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 A guy got on first base last night. His first save situation for the Orioles gets on first base and automatic steal second, steal third, tie game. Like how has he had 417 career saves? He used to be lights out. I get. I. I. I guess. That's funny. Like it's just I. I've never seen anything like it. It really, if you look Ever. at his, if you look in at his baseball career, history, look at his career, like first half career, he's like uh, so dumb. In the second half career, it's very ugly. I know, I'm just trying to rationalize it. I'm yeah. just trying to rationalize it. Like, how can you be that successful of a closer and just anytime somebody gets on base, throw a match? It's why, yeah, I've never I, seen it. So, sorry, no, no, it's, on. no, it's it is crazy. I mean, obviously, I had my Orioles money line yesterday, which ended up being thankful. But I mean, yeah, yeah. Close. I swear to God, Not easy, but I swear to God. I tried to cash out, but I couldn't because I was back in PA and I made the bet in uh, oh. in, in in New York. I tried to cash out the second I saw Kimbrel was taking the bet. <laughs> um, Clemmer. Yeah, so I have a few bets. Uh, I the Dimebacks is my play of the day. First five innings, uh, money line. Um, we got Zach Gallen, maybe the best pitcher uh, at home last year. I think he's in the area of 247 at home uh, going against Cortez, like we talked about him earlier. 
Uh, I have I'm over on Zach Gallon outs, 16 and a half outs. So basically needs to go five and two thirds innings. He only went five his last start, and this Yankees lineup is good, but he's so dominant at home. I gotta think they're gonna stretch him out a little bit. Plus that bullpen got used a lot last night. Uh, I'm on the Red Sox run line. Um, that ace team is a joke. Alex Wood is washed, and Brian Bayo is, is very good uh, for the Red Sox, at least. Orioles run line. Uh, Royals are starting a guy named Alec Marsh, who, if you don't know him, that's probably okay. He's made nine career starts. I think his ERA is like almost six lifetime. He's uh, not very impressive. And then I'm on uh, Jesus Lazardo over 16 and a half outs. Uh, Marlins Angels. Marlins haven't won a game yet this year, uh, but I like Lozardo a lot, especially Lozardo at home last year was super dominant. So if he just goes five and two there, does any you get it there? I don't know if I like the Marlins to win that game because the Marlins are offense is awful right now, but the Angels are terrible, and uh, I like Lozardo. East go six innings. Plus that bullpen is very, very been used a lot. That's it. Um, Quick update. I just DM Dukes this, but uh, go. The, the, the Ed Coley thing, the resignation, is trending no, at number five. Well, that's because Province fans are. <laughs> it's so insane. funny. I can't. Stop. I love it. I DM Dukes this. Uh, I just want. Oh, this trending. Shut up, PCBC. Shut I uh, I was showing. <laughs> we're talking about Zach Gallon yesterday on Short Porch. Yeah. And I was. <laughs> this is doesn't look like I'm having an affair with Zach Gallon with these text messages. <laughs> It's very funny. <laughs> very bizarre. <laughs> it's next. <laughs> That's a bad door. <laughs> well, we were, uh, my conversation with him is that uh, doors are just bad now. They all look the same. But the p- p- top of that was just like, what well, looks like we're having an affair. Like my girlfriend. I'm not sure what my girlfriend, girlfriend Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How um, much downtime do these athletes have where they're talking to you about it? Uh, doors. <laughs> well, do- I, we, I told... I mean, they have a lot of downtime. Starting pitchers only need to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was in February, February too. Yeah, but I we did he did agree with me about the doors. About that's good. doors are, it is they they all look the same. Closets and door look the same. But uh, if uh, any you got anything else, anybody? That's all I got. I, going for five in a row today. Trust the data. Let's go. Get excited. Trust the data. Woo. Oh, we'll do it real quick. Show uh, Rico stepping out of bounds here. Oh, this is a great play. I don't, I don't want to hear this. No, it's funny. I mean, he stepped I mean, out. That's a great play. The other play he had was sick. He steals the ball. Oh, let's see. You got it. <laughs> why, don't you show the, why don't you show him stealing the ball and then the and, get, and going. He's, is, is, that, is that toe hovering? It's, it's, that toe might, some okay are saying there, that yeah. toe might be hovering. Teams I'm going to say this right now. Bounce, it's it's right. basketball yesterday, right? The team we played. Oh, I need, I need that. Why, why was everyone on their team five foot? Three? Yeah, they weren't great. <laughs> like, that's the one thing. Ba- Bosco, me and Bosco. I mean, look at this. I may be a little Duke, taller than Bosco, same height. I was zoom like, out. Look, look how at, does he look so tall next to these guys? Like, guys yeah. are short. Let's go for the record. Bosco is like 5'10". <laughs> yeah. If anyone out there, like he's, I'm guessing off the top of my head, he's probably like 5'10"-ish. 5'10". Like these guys like, are. I mean, look at this one. Look at that account. <laughs> like look at like this. No, and like listen, how are the how do they have two guys on the basketball court that are five foot four? Like it was a very small usually thing. when you see usually when you see when I see a five foot four guy on the court I get scared because that usually means they're really good. No, yeah. that's, that's how. But this is the case last night. Not the case. It seems. No, no we won pretty decisively. Uh, we already had a great game, by the way. I'll be honest. I, Rico he gives him the yeah, the pat in the ass. Rico the had. Ball. I'm gonna say something. You're my. He's a head dude. taller. He's, Bosco's towering over this guy. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm going to say something. I was little. Bosco was like a liability in the first half. Second half, he was unbelievable. Five steals. Five, he, the, co- the cookies for the for and one lamp was crazy. It was so funny. And he was just going like this to the ref. Like, like this the whole <laughs> time. It was so funny. Um, yeah, no, we're, we play. Listen, Coach Clemmer has his ways. We play like we're in the 60s. We shot three threes yesterday, and two of them were mine, and one was Tommy Smokes, and Tommy Smokes got benched the rest of the half. How close was Tommy's? Air ball. Uh, it was about, I don't know what, you know, 15 feet away? Air ball? Air ball. And, and, oh, the, and, these, and these morons wanted him to take the last shot last week. Take, have Tommy take the last And then he, <laughs> he didn't even come close to hitting the rim. Not even close. It was awesome. I, I literally felt like a Make-A-Wish kid was in. I was like, oh, and it's still going. Um, but, yeah, we shot three threes, and I shot two of them. Two and oh. Yeah, two and zero. Oh. It's been very funny. the The whole thing was I did a jersey swap with the guy because he <laughs> he was like, "Can I please do one?" Like, I want to name the chicken rat dogs this name. I didn't even know you guys were in the league. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I love these guys." But yeah, that team was small, very small, and it shouldn't have been as close either. But hey, well, what was the final? I think we won by like nine. fourteen. Oh, we won by fourteen. Yeah. It shouldn't have been that close. Right. It was yeah, uh, look, it just was, looking at that's one clip, so I don't know who was on the bench at that time, whatever. They had like two small. guys on their team. We got, that and we got everyone in the game. Everyone got some minutes last night. Yeah, every single person 
got minutes. I, I just want to say this. Come here as my client. Jack one to know when Jack Mack plays. That's all I'm gonna say. And Jack Mack did. Uh, Jack oh, Mack. That's all was, I'm gonna say. Jack, Jack Mack was on the court it. the last three minutes. The other team didn't get a point. The uh, that's a stopper. Yeah, no. He his, what was Jack Mack's stats? They were uh, uh, oh for we, one. We don't need to. No, no. He tweeted out. It was funny. Right. One rebound. There you go. One assist. All right. right? Uh, the stat sheet. Two stuff turnovers. It. Two turnovers. Stuff in the stat sheet. Oh, that's fine. You, We're, we are so you, you bad let, turnovers. Let, let him get in. The, he got to take I more got, shots. Bro, I got pickpocketed yesterday. Pickpocketed. But then I, I cooked him on the other Oh, side. Marty completely. I was telling Marty after the game, either people, when that happens, either disintegrate or they just forget about it. Marty then ha- had the best half of his life. Best half. Fuck yeah, you got to get back. You Marty, gotta, Marty was uh, stealing balls. He was I've tipping balls. Fun. He was making shots. And you know why? I had a client meeting before. Had a couple shots. <laughs> there we go. Loosen Loosened up. up. I don't say this. I just didn't tell him before the game because he would have sat me. I would have sat you. And I played great. I don't don't it was a client don't, meeting, don't do that again. It's client meeting. That's fine. You can Shout have a non ball. alcoholic. You'd be oh, well, how curve, well curveball is a great product. So I maybe mean, that's that's a little different. I mean, yeah. how many NBAs have talked about how they get high before games? Oh, wait, last thing. That's what I want to talk about. I'm sorry. Uh, what's going on there? I, I honestly just wanted to show you guys. It just came across my timeline. Could you ma- I was just going to Could you imagine going to class in this weather? That was a Kentucky student well, just going she, to class. I'm so sorry if that happened to her, but what do you go stay home? That, that, She's a tr- Yeah, that's <laughs> it's one of those where like I almost respect the the dedication but at the same time like girl stay. He was videotaping. Everyone stay home. I, 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 I have some questions. Yeah, right. the, I, and also Kentucky is this a tornado? I don't. Th- or is this a, a bit? Because the camera guy is standing pretty still. No, no, no. no. This he is might real. Be I mean, that, I don't know. If Storm is real, but is the girl Storm real? Is- uh, that Dude, seems don't pretty. Fuck with me like that. She's a hell of an actress. No, though. like, I mean, why not? Like, why can't you fall back? Like, this camera might, is not moving. Dude, dude, no, no, no. But the way her hat is flies off. I mean, that's look pretty, right like, in front of him. Look at her hat. Nothing's happening. That like, thing is flying. Yeah, no. Clever. Look Clever. what AI you can do these get days. Tossed by the storm. Yeah, that's yeah. I walked my dog's hurricane state. I didn't get tossed, which makes me think this is bullshit. This is this is a tornado. There's tornadoes all around. I just this video was so mind blowing watching that I was like I have to show you guys. Yeah. Um, I want to last thing. Thank so, you, dude. no problem. Someone said DJ Burns in the post. It what's Giannis's? Uh, Maybe he's the cameraman. What's Giannis's brother's name? Tenasis. 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 So he has a podcast, and he sat down with Jordan Love, and they were. Tenasis was like, "What's your guys like uh, on the road situation? Like when you go on the road, what's the uh, protocol and like what's what's the re- what's your uh, coaches want from you? All this and and Jordan Love's like, "Ah, uh, we we get there on Saturday. Uh, we have some downtime. You can go to dinner, but then we have uh, film and then curfew, 11 p.m." Tenasis goes, "You got curfew?" <laughs> He's like, "You guys have to be in bed at a certain time." He's like, you guys don't go out like the fat. He's like the way the difference of NBA and NFL on the road life is, is so fucking funny. And I know there's a lot more people to be accountable like they have for NFL and whatever, but it's just so much funnier that NBA people just kind of, they show up and play. Well, they're not doing but, that during but, the playoffs. Well, also, no, no, well, I know, but, I still, two, but this is also week one things. football. 17 games. Yeah, 17 games opposed to 82. 100%. And then also on Sunday, usually you're playing at, one or four and the fours are said even no matter what uh and uh, if they have a night a game, sunday, sunday night game it's still 11 8 11, and also the, but it but also well, all goes back to the unions the and the, the nba union would never allow for that and the nfl union does has no power but that's a team to team curfew i'd imagine like it changes like i don't think it's an nfl rule like, i guarantee there's there's legalese and i know for baseball they used to have curfews and they got rid of them because the players union was like fuck no Unions push back. It's exactly what unions are fighting for. It is more player rights. I understand there's also 17 games. There's whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it is just funny where, like, NBA guys, it's like, it's just like you do what you want during a the season. There's so much more prep in the NFL, too. Of course. Like, M- like, the, I, like you said, the it's film. It's the same and game. You, like, playbook. Like, the NBA, there's, like, you run some plays. It's the same game it's in the NBA. very free-flowing for Yes, but it's part. just funny to hear both sides talk about, like, you got curfew. And like you can't even go to dinner or something like that. He's like, well, you yeah. said they go to dinner. Just he said only if it's a night game. Like if there's like sometimes there's not enough time. They all like a lot of uh, also NFL guys. I think they all. You the quarterback. Sometimes like, they. I know like college football. They all stay in a hotel together the night before, even if it's home. Yeah, they do. Like Ohio State does. Oh, even if they're home. Yeah, yeah, you do. I know that. Just so they can all. The NFL, be they do. Yeah, college, they do. Or, or NFL, I think the, NFL maybe they don't. NFL, they might not because they're like 
uh, they you know your NFL family. college. I know college. I know they do. I know Ohio State does for yeah. sure. I think most teams do. Which I found crazy at first, but also college. It's smart to have everybody under one roof and yeah, they, they, they go back to your yeah, dorm, whatever. And yeah, sure. Only knows. No it's just easier. You're, you're not out chasing skirt. Yeah. You're not out like yeah. drinking or whatever. Um. All right. Got anything else, anybody? That's it. All right. That's the show. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Go Yanks.